Hey, you. Yeah, you. You got any grapes? No, but how about a mediocre Pokemon that continuously finds strange niches in VDC? No. Too bad. Here's the duck. So, what does Golduck do? Usually nothing. But sometimes something. Let me explain. Golduck is a Pokemon that suffers from what I'd like to call Gen 1 Syndrome, which is the fact that due to power creep, Gen 1 Pokemon typically have very low stats overall. Golduck especially suffers from this as it doesn't have a single stat above 100. However, it does make up for it by having high speed and damage output when the rain is up due to its ability Swift Swim. Even in that department though, it struggles to stand out as it has to compete with other Swift Swim attackers like Kingdra and Ludicolo, which do the job better, usually. It typically finds itself being especially viable exclusively in formats where its counterparts are just unavailable, with only a few exceptions. Let's get into those. In VGC 2016, this thing saw a very short spike in usage as sort of a budget Rayquaza. In this format, we were seeing high usage of the Primal Pokemon, especially Primal Groudon, which had the ability Desolate Land. With this ability, the Ground and Fire-type Pokemon was able to nullify its greatest weakness in water moves by fizzling them out entirely. But Golduck was one of only a few Pokemon that could bypass this, with the only other relevant one being Rayquaza. But Let's say you didn't want to waste a restricted slot on such a bad Pokemon that would eventually go on to win the World Championships despite the early metagame analysis definitively proving that it was a mid-tier pick. <sighs> Anyways, Golduck had Cloud9, uh, which allowed it to hit Primal Groudon and one-shot it with a stab move. Sounds insane, right? Well, it was actually pretty terrible and a gimmick that went away as soon as it showed up, because while it was able to one-shot Groudon in the sun, uh, the major downside was that you had to run a Golduck, which was pretty much useless beyond this one niche. Funny enough, once again, it became very relevant the next year. In VGC 2017, Golduck was actually a top-tier pick in the early metagame, and was still great even at the end of the format. Due to the regional decks excluding both Ludicolo and Kingdra this year, Waterium Z Golduck was pretty prominent. Smacking something with a Hydro Vortex was no joke, as his burst damage was capable of one-shotting almost everything that didn't resist it, and Golduck was capable of outspeeding Tapu Koko, which was the fastest relevant Pokemon in the rain. This likely led to the rise of Assault Vest Tapu Koko in the format as it went on. Golduck was usually incapable of dealing with grass types like Tapu Bulu effectively since even with Ice Beam, its middling special attack stat kept it from one-shotting them. But it lucked out as this gen, Pelipper, a former bottom tier pick, became a metagame staple by being the newest Drizzle Pokemon, thus gaining 100% accurate Hurricanes to annihilate grass Pokemon, and it even got Tailwind to ensure that even Scarf Pokemon had to fear Golduck. I'm sure you're wondering, how could Golduck follow up this act in Gen 8? How great was Golduck in Gen 8 VGC? Well, it was bad and was almost never used, except by only a few people, including myself, who really liked shutting down Dynamax with Swift Swim Hypnosis. It became immediately unviable once its competition returned. So I guess this lore video was just using Golduck's VGC history as sort of a way to show how a Pokemon's environment and competition affects its viability overall. Golduck is just a big duck in a small pond. Once you move it to a bigger pond, a monkey eats it. The end.